Welcome to uh, today's news, and we're going to go through this interesting article. G20 Summit Transport Project to Link India to Middle East, Europe, and Wales. The ambitious rail and shipping project announced on the sideline of G20 Summit in New Delhi is seen as a challenge to a Chinese economic plot. The multinational rail uh, and shipping project link, linking India with the Middle East and Europe has been announced on the sideline of a G20 summit in New Delhi as the step seen as challenged Chinese economic ambition in the region. The corridor, uh, which could include India, Saudi Arabia, United Arab Emirates, Jordan, Israel, and Europe Union, would help boost trade, delivery, energy resources, and improve digital connectivity. Jack Sullivan, Biden's national security advisor, said the network of flags the Biden's vision of far-reaching investment that comes from effective American leadership and willingness to embrace other nations as a partners. He said, enhanced infrastructure would boost economic growth, help being, bringing countries and Middle East together and establish that reason as a hub for economic activities instead of as a source of challenged conflict or crises, as it has been in recent history. Biden seeks the counter Chinese Belt and Road push on a global infrastructure pitch, and uh, Washington is an alternative partner investor for developing countries in G20 gripping. This is a big deal. This is already a big deal, Biden said. At an even announcing, U.S. leaders said the pact would unlock endless opportunities for clean energy, clean electricity, a lay cable to connect communities. Prime Minister Narendra Modi of a summit horse in India said, today, as we embark upon such a big connectivity initiative, we are showing the seeds for a future generation to dream bigger, enhancing connectivity with all regional has been a key priority for India. Modi speaking through a translator, we believe that connectivity is a means not only increase mutual trade between different countries, but also increase mutual trust. Game changer. Al Jazeera, Katrina Yu, reporter from Indian Capital, New Delhi, said officials are hailing the deal as a game changer. They say it is an economic corridor designed to link India, Middle East, and Europe. It will consist of rail, rail lines, shipping lines, and will pass through UAE, Saudi Arabia, Jordan, Israel. The details are pretty scanned at the moment, but the U.S. and Europe officials who were present during the announcement held it as a game changer historic. They said it will cut trade between India and Europe 40%. You said Beijing was not present during the announcement of the deal. Uh, Conspicuously absent from this announcement was China. Uh, it seems this is a clear plan to rival Chinese massive Belt and Road Infrastructure Initiative that was announced back 2013, which is designed to connect Asia, Africa, Europe. So it seems that this is really a counterweight plan. Saudi Arabia's TV quoted Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman as saying at the summit that the new project would include pipeline, 
for electricity, hydrogen, railways will contribute to the international energy security. The deal will benefit low and middle income countries in the region and enable a critical role for our Middle East and the global e-commerce. John Feiner, the U.S. Deputy National Security Advisor, told a reporter at the bloc's annual summit in New Delhi. It aims to ink Middle East countries by a railway, connect them to India by port, helping the flow of energy, trade from a Gulf to Europe, U.S. officials have said by cutting shipping time costs and fuel use, a memorandum of understanding for a deal was set to be signed by European Union, India, Saudi Arabia, Union Arab Emirates, and U.S. and other G20 partners, linking these key reasons we think is a huge opportunity. No immediate details of the va value of a deal were available. Rather, Kumar, an independent analyst, said it is a wonderful initiator that will offer an alternative to China Belt and Road Initiator. China powers, powers are increasing so rapidly that many countries feel the need to have alternative, she told. Al Jazeera from New Delhi, but she's added that the new project would not necessarily undermine Chinese global infrastructure project, which has its own independent ex existence. India is not a part of Belt and Road Initiative, so this initiative gives connectivity to India. The move came amid U.S. efforts for a broader diplomatic deal in Middle East. Uh, Middle East that would be that would have Saudi Arabia recognize Israel.